In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to build table joins in QuickSight. So first I'm going to navigate to Manage Data and choose it that I want to do a new data set. So next example, I'm going to use Redshift, but the same concept of uh, joining tables exists in really any data source uh, that QuickSight supports that, that has the concept of multiple tables within it. So I'm going to choose my cluster, choose the database I want to connect to. And authenticate. So next it asks you to choose a schema. And from here it looks like you can only pick one table to connect to. But if you just pick one of them and you choose edit preview data, then this will bring you to the data prep screen where you can uh, add additional tables and then join them. So here it's going to load a preview of the data from the first table that I selected. Um, if I want to add additional tables, you click up here where it says add data and I can select other tables from this same schema. I can even select tables from different schemas and choose to join those in. So this is really useful, uh, for instance, like if you're using Redshift Spectrum and you have external tables uh, that uh, are accessible via Redshift, but that data is actually sitting in S3 and you can join it to data that's sitting in Redshift. Uh, or if you just want to join tables from two different schemas for any other kind of reason, you can do so. Uh, so for instance, here I have my fact table, which has my orders data, uh, and I want to join my dimension tables into it. So here I'll choose my product table uh, it adds it out here into, um, into my table design area. Uh, and when I want to configure my join, I will click on these two little circles here. And here's where you choose the join key. So I'll say product ID from my left table equals product ID from the right. You choose what type of join you want to add. So in my case, I want to do these as an inner join, but you have your other options there. So great, so we just added our first joined table. So now the result of the preview window here is going to show um, the all the columns from all the tables that I've joined. Uh, and similarly over here, these are the combined set of columns from all tables. Uh, so let's do this one more time where I'm going to add in, let's do the company names here. You know, similarly, I'm going to click on that circle and uh, you can search for columns if you'd like or you can just scroll and find them. So this one joins on company name. Now what if I want to add a table join that doesn't join back to the first table, but actually joins to one of these other tables that I've, uh, that I've already joined. So you can do that as well. I'm going to add uh, a fourth table here. Uh, this one is going to be my industry table, which doesn't join back to the fact, but joins to uh, the company names. So when you add it, it's going to join it back to your first one initially, but there's this little area with these uh, dots on top where you can grab onto it, and you can drag and drop it on top of the table you actually want to join it to. So I'm going to join, drag it onto the company name table, and notice that it moves out to the right of that one now. So as I click this, uh, same thing, I'm going to choose industry ID here equals industry ID, and now I've joined more in like an A to B to C kind of fashion. So you can continue to do this and build out the entire uh, schema of tables that you need for your data set. Uh, once you finish that, you can choose save. It'll just bring you back to the managing data screen. Or if you choose save and visualize, it'll use this data set as a starting point and actually create a new analysis for you. So I can call this uh, orders, uh, all tables, just as an example. And then just to kind of show you one with a few more tables in it, uh, let's use this one over here. So I'm going to take one of my existing data sets and choose to edit it. Uh, same tables that we saw before, but added in a few more. Um, you can resize this part here if you'd like uh, a little bit more space um, to be able to see the full set of tables that you would join. So you can uh, kind of resize those windows. Um, and then lastly, you can choose whether you want to use direct query or whether you want to import this data into SPICE. 
So when you import it into the Spice, that's bringing it in memory um, into the Spice engine that's part of QuickSight. Uh, the reason you do that is, is for performance reasons. When you import it into Spice, you get really, really good performance with it. Um, and then you put it on a refresh schedule. Say you want to refresh it every hour or every day, or you can, you can control the frequency of how often it uh, goes and grabs the data from the database. Um, or if you use the direct query, then as I um, drag and drop my fields and start to design out my, my visuals, then we will be sending the SQL queries directly to that database. So it's more like a real-time kind of connection. All right, so this one's set to live query. So as I drag and drop these fields, or I just even just click on them, you know, this is sending the queries to Redshift. Redshift's processing that query and then sending the data back to QuickSight. So that completes our video for instructions on how to build table joints. Thank you.